Hey guys, it's Mariah and today I want to teach you a really quick tutorial on how to create branded email signatures for your Gmail account. Um, I think email signatures that are branded and designed something more elaborate than just your name typed out are super professional. They really elevate your brand and um, I think they just stand out from everyone else. So. If you want your Gmail to look freaking awesome, let's uh, watch this tutorial. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is actually design your signature in another program, whether that's, I use Illustrator because that's what I use for everything. Um, if you're a Photoshop person, that's cool too. If you are sticking to your Canva, that's fine. So whatever it is you need to design it in, um, do that first. I already have mine designed and I actually um, want to create my signature to be clickable. So I want these social media links or uh, icons to be actual buttons in my signature. So I've designed it so that um, I can split this graphic up into a few different images. In Illustrator there's actually a really easy way to do that. It's called the slice tool. It's right here. Um, I actually already have a document where it's all sliced, ready to go, but you can see that these red marks are dissecting my entire image to create smaller ones that I will then put all back together within Gmail. So once you have your design saved out and any individual buttons um, saved out as their own images as well, like I do here, we can get going. So you can see that every one of these is their own icon. So we're going to first go to the internet. Um, I use a site called postimage.org. The site is a website where you can upload a image and it will give you a URL for that image. So for example, we're going to choose choose images, you're going to pick your first image for your email signature, and it's going to give you a bunch of links. You're going to want to use the one that says direct link. I don't know, don't use the one that just says link. I don't know what that one is. It doesn't work. <laughs> so use the direct link. And you're just going to copy it to your clipboard. If you're on Mac, that's just command C. Um, and then we're going to go over to Gmail. So to edit our Gmail signature, we're going to go to the gear icon, click settings, and head down here. I'm going to oops, delete all this so we can recreate it. Okay, so now to add that image to our signature, we're going to click on this little mountain icon that says insert image, and we're going to choose web address URL and you're going to paste it here. I'm going to load a preview, like awesome, that's what I wanted, press select, and then I'm just gonna hit return so I go below it, and I'm going to keep doing those things. I actually have all of these already uploaded to post image so I can just copy and paste them, speed this thing up a little bit, um, paste it in there, looks good. So it's gonna stick it right in there. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna press space or return or anything. I'm just going to add the next icon. Keep repeating this process until you have everything you want in there. Obviously, the easier you make um, these splits in your image, the easier putting it all back together in Gmail is going to be. So don't make it super complicated. It's not worth that and it's, there are a lot of combinations that it's just not even possible. So the simpler, the better that you make this, you will be much happier and save yourself a headache. So this last one, I also, when you're designing your signature, I suggest keeping it around 300 to 500 pixels wide. Anything bigger than that is going to be too big. Um, so as you can see, everything's loaded in here now, but now it's time to add clickable links to things. So you're actually just going to go highlight 
the image and you're going to click on this little link button right next to where you were inserting images. Click that and it's actually just going to have this little pop-up that comes on the bottom of your image and you're going to click change. So right now it's just going to nothing and type in whatever link you want. I'm making mine go to my website, mariahaltoff.com, press OK. Um, and then you do that with each individual social media icon or whatever it is that you have as well. Um, I'm not going to do that for every single one while you're sitting here because I don't want to bore you. But make sure you hit save changes. And then here you go. And it's not actually really going to be clickable when you're like editing an email, but if you were to send it to yourself, just you'll see what it looks like if people actually were to receive it. So look at that. Takes you right there. So that is how you create a branded email signature in Gmail. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will leave a link to the post image site that I use as well. And I hope you found this informative. Have a good day, guys. Bye.